Hi, I'm Phil Constantine, and on this episode of Travels with Phil, we're going to Cathedral Gorge, which is located out in the great state of Nevada, the Silver State. So let's take a look around there on the map. You can see where it's located, and the nearest city is Las Vegas. It's about 160, a couple of miles away from the Cathedral State Park, which is right over on the eastern edge of Nevada, not too far from Utah. Let's take a look over from overhead here, starting here in the Moon Caves, heading toward Miller Point. And it's between uh, Panaka and uh, Pioche, and it's off of Highway, U.S. Highway 93, just right off the side of the road. In fact, I drove right by it, wasn't really aware of it until we saw the Miller's Point sign, and, and it was visible from the road. Now, this is an area of a lot of volcanic activity in the past, and what happened here was millions of years ago, there was a freshwater lake and about a 1500 foot pile of material like clay and silt and gravel built up in the bottom of the lake. Well, also volcanic ash came in and it's most likely from the Caliente Caldera, which is 20 miles to the south. Now that's a super volcano. It's no longer active, of course. And all of this stuff made its way into the lake and formed what is called welded tuff or bentonite clay. I like the phrase welded tough though. Well, when the lake slowly started to dry off or drain off, the lake bed uh, was exposed and it slowly eroded, leaving these amazing shapes which give Cathedral Gorge its unique structure. Now to me, it's sort of reminiscent of Bryce Canyon, parts of Bryce Canyon, Cedar Breaks and Goblin Valley in Utah and there's a few other spots out there. Now, the one thing about this material though, it's very crumbly, it looks like concrete but it's very, very crumbly. And it also has slot canyons. Well, here at the northern part is a point uh, called Miller's Point. And a nice little spot there where you can take a view. And, and a couple of uh, teenagers many years ago put in a ladder and then that was built up. So you can walk down in there and hike around and you can see the little areas like, uh, there's a couple spots where there's limestone on top where it's a little bit harder. So it made these uh, spires and kinds of things, hoodoos, if you prefer the term. Now you can find uh, ancient bison bones inside some areas out here in the sediment. Uh, just a thought, if you do find them, leave them where they are. That way, uh, tell the rangers that way the scientists can come in and do some uh, research and do some looking here. But this is just an amazing kind of spot. It's got uh, almost 1,800 acres. Now there are some wildflowers out there, a few small critters running around. And this is one of the four original uh, Nevada State Parks. The elevation is about 4,800 feet. In the summer, it can get up as high as 95. It can get in the teens in the wintertime, a little bit cool. But a lot of folks like the slot canyons. You can go back in there. Now, some of them, again, some of these slots can be anywhere between 70 and 100 feet high, maybe just a few feet, if that wide. You can see some of the pictures here looking straight up in some spots <laughs> and even hiding behind them for a cute photo if you want to do that kind of thing. But I think this is a beautiful, beautiful spot. It's on, again on the eastern side of Nevada and it's beautiful at night because there's really no lights in the immediate area and you can see the stars overhead. Cathedral Gorge State Park and a thanks to National State Parks of Nevada for use of some of the video here. And a special tip of the hat to the people who helped produce some of those videos, THS visuals. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to make comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the circle with my picture in it in the lower right hand corner of the video. The arrow is pointing at it now. And once you have subscribed, you can be notified of when I have a new video posted by clicking on the bell icon in the description field below the video. Thanks again for watching.